Ashto T313 bending beam rheometer. Inspect and clean supports and bath interior for debris daily before testing. Adjust the bath fluid to the required temperature for testing. Let the bath fluid stabilize to the test temperature plus or minus 0.1 degrees Celsius before verification. Verify the temperature transducer. Daily before testing, immerse the temperature probe in the bath close to the temperature transducer and compare the probe reading with the BBR temperature reading. Verify free movement of the air bearing. Place the thin steel beam in the bath and apply 35 plus or minus 10 millinewtons using the zero regulator. Lift the shaft approximately five millimeters and release. It should immediately float downward and contact the beam. Remove any beams from the supports. Using the zero regulator, adjust the shaft so that it is free floating near the midpoint of its travel. Gently add a two gram mass to the weight pan. It should drop under the mass. Verify the displacement transducer. Place the stepped gauge block under the weight pan. Place a 100 plus or minus 0.2 gram weight on the pan. Rotate the step gauge and compare each measured step with a known dimension. The measured dimension and known dimensions must not differ by more than plus or minus 0.005 millimeters. Verify the contact load. Place the thick steel beam on the supports. Use the zero regulator to place the load nose just off of the surface of the beam and tear the readout. Apply a 20 plus or minus 10 millinewton load with the zero regulator. Add a two gram mass to the weight pan. The load must increase 20 plus or minus five millinewtons. Add a second two gram mass to the weight pan. The load must increase by another 20 plus or minus five millinewtons. Remove the two gram masses and thick steel beam. Verify the test load. Place the thick steel beam on the supports. Use the zero regulator to place the load nose just off the surface of the beam and tear the readout. Apply a 20 plus or minus 10 millinewton load with a zero regulator. Add a 100 gram mass to the weight pan. The load must increase by 981 plus or minus 5 millinewtons. Remove the 100 gram mass and the thick steel beam. Overall system check. Place the thin steel beam into the bath. Use the zero regulator to place the load nose just off the surface of the beam and tear the readout. Place an initial 100 plus or minus 0.2 gram mass on the weight pan. Wait five seconds and press record. Place an additional 100 plus or minus 0.2 gram mass on the weight pan. Wait five seconds and press record. The measured modulus must be within 10% of the modulus provided by the instrument manufacturer. Remove the thin steel beam. Verify the contact and test loads. Place the thick steel beam on the supports. Use the zero regulator to place the load nose just off of the surface of the beam and tear the readout. Adjust the load to 35 plus or minus 10 millinewtons using the zero regulator. Switch from the contact load to the test load. Adjust the test load to 981 plus or minus 50 millinewtons. Switch between the contact and test loads four times. Observe the loading shaft and platform while switching from contact to test load. There must be no vertical movement. The load shaft must maintain contact with the thick steel beam while switching the loads of 35 plus or minus 10 millinewton and 980 plus or minus 50 millinewtons respectively. Remove the thick steel beam. Test procedure. Place the test beam on the supports. Manually apply a 35 plus or minus 10 millinewton contact load to the test beam. Initiate the test within 10 seconds of placing the test beam on the supports. Verify that the load on the test beam returns to 35 plus or minus 10 millinewtons after the initial seating load and at the conclusion of the test. 